Hey, Pastor Bubba here. We just finished up Galatians number 10 uh, in chapter 5, verses 1 through 15. And the big idea we're looking at is that uh, because Jesus sets us free, we can stand firm in the freedom of Christ. And Paul does some really interesting things in this section of Scripture. He gives us some warnings about temptation, and he tells us the consequences if we don't stand firm. And he also tells us what it looks like when we do stand firm. And Really, the the key verse is verse 1, which says, For freedom Christ has set you free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not give yourself over to a a yoke of slavery. Do not submit again to a yoke of slavery, is the language that's used. And the idea is that your reality in Christ is one in which you've been freed from sin, freed from uh, the curse of the law, to live by faith through the power of the Spirit, this life of freedom. And when you're living a life of freedom, it's evidenced by love. You will love others. You'll love God. You'll love other people. And that really is the discipleship value that is connected is this value of love. When we're walking out our freedom and we're standing firm in that freedom, there will be a life of love uh, where we're imaging the love of God to others, and specifically in the context of the community of Christ. And so uh, what I want to invite you to this week is to consider your own life. Uh, Have there been places where you've been tempted to go back into slavery? If so, why? you know, why would you, why would you want that? Why would you do that? And, you know, talk about those things in community, really share, uh, this is where I'm struggling. This is what I'm wrestling with. And then you have the opportunity to actually minister the gospel to each other and live out your freedom together as you love one another in community. And so uh, my hope is that we would be a people who are living this reality, right? We are free. The question is, do we live it? And my hope for you is that you would indeed live this, this freedom in Christ Um, And really what that means is to just uh, keep your heart set on Jesus, keep your eyes focused on Jesus, and enjoy Him and delight in Him. And so love you. I hope you have a great week.